All right, we are going to try going live for the first time here on YouTube in the Ditch Auto YouTube channel. So let me talk about this a little bit while I kind of get things situated here. So Ditch Auto, um, many of you have subscribed and uh, I just appreciate all of you who have subscribed to the channel, who come by and watch the videos. Um, I just got done doing a hour long live stream in the Ditch Auto Facebook group. So for those of you who have not uh, checked out the Ditch Auto Facebook group, um, definitely head on over to the Ditch Auto Facebook group. I'm going to post a link right now in the chat so that you can see uh, how to get to it. Um, Ditch Auto, boom. So this, uh, this link right here should, <laughs> let's hope that it works. Um, Facebook groups, Ditch Auto, yep, that should work. Um, so that URL will take you to the group. And I did a live chat in there um, that was an hour long. I'm not gonna do an hour long live chat here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what's gonna come with these live chats. So I uh, am in the room that I typically film the videos here on Ditch Auto, and uh, those videos are usually like edited and produced, and you know we, we do some B-roll and stuff like that, um, but they're not live. What they don't actually allow for is like real-time conversation, which I wanna have with all of you. Um, I wanna do some videos where we're talking about some topics and I've got the chat pulled up and you can ask questions and I can answer them or we can work on figuring something out together uh, or I can jump over to Lightroom and we can edit and we can do these things together in a, in a live scenario. Like I wanna be able to do that. And that's what this whole setup that I've kind of put together um, is for. Now I've got uh, all of my stuff here. I'm gonna try and kind of get this set up so that I can give you a little bit of an idea of what the plan is here. Um, while at the same time, uh, uh, you know, discussing what the future is going to be of doing these these live streams. So the live streams are um, are gonna take place either here on the YouTube channel or in the Ditch Auto Facebook group. So uh, if you have not joined the Ditch Auto Facebook group, which is free, you just go and request to join um, and then get approved, like that's all that it takes. And there's a great group of people in there uh, that are sharing photos, they're talking and chatting and uh, helping each other and encouraging each other and all that good stuff. Um, all of that stuff's going on in that group and so I highly recommend joining it. Um, I've got uh, a question popping up in here. One of the things that I need to figure out for um, the, the, the group here or for this, um, this live chat is actually being able to <laughs> have the chat um, in a much larger screen so that I can see it better. Um, so I'm going to try and pull it up here on my on my uh, tablet so that I could at least read them a little bit better. That's something that I need to get uh, a bigger view of on the screen. Um, but I think the question uh, from John is, uh, he's thinking about buying a Canon 80D. Seems like it's an all-around good camera for the money, which, yes, it's a solid camera. And uh, I, in the live stream that I did in the Facebook group, talked about um, that camera for a second. Um, I have one of those, even though I shoot predominantly Sony, I have one of those cameras because uh, I was using it for a photo booth that we had. Um, and I'm actually going to be putting together kind of a ditch auto specific course for that camera. That's one of the things that I'm gonna be working on here during the month of March. Um, the ADD is a fantastic camera. My very first DSLR camera was the 20D, which is like the ADD's um, really, really old brother. <laughs> um, the 20D was the camera that I started out on. Amazing camera, fantastic camera uh, for the time, and it's gotten you know upgraded over the years into um, the ADD, which is still a fantastic camera. And so uh, I definitely highly recommend that camera if you're looking at um, uh, expanding, whether that be your first DSLR or you're thinking about uh, upgrading or, or whatnot. It's a, it's a great camera. Um, I've said this many times before in other videos, but 
I highly recommend not throwing all of your money at the camera body, at the camera body portion of the camera. Um, get what, get a decent camera, but your real performance is going to come out of getting good lenses for your camera. So, you know, I've, I've had people ask me in the past, like, oh, well, you know, I could, I could stretch and I can get the 5D Mark III or the 5D Mark IV. Um, then I ask what kind of lenses they have. And, oh, well, all I have is like, uh, you know, um, I have the kit lens that I got with my, you know, my, my digital rebel, my T5i or whatever. And I have a couple of, they've got a couple of other lenses that are like, they're decent lenses, but they're definitely entry level lenses. I would rather somebody get a Canon 80D and spend the rest of the money on a fantastic lens. You're going to get much better photos out of that than if you have a really good camera body and cheaper lenses. So, um, the glass, I mean, obviously the light goes through your camera, um, and it, and it has to go through a lot of glass in order to get to that sensor. And if you're putting cheap glass or lower end glass on a really good camera, you're, you're basically choking down that camera. So I highly recommend, uh, getting as good of a camera as you can afford, um, and then spending, you know, the leftover money or, or maybe even getting a little bit less of a camera than you can afford so that you have a little bit money left over to buy a better, um, a better, a better lens. I mean, that's kind of how I started. I bought the Canon 20D. I got a good deal on it because, uh, the business, the camera business was going out of business and I got a good deal on it. And then I spent a little bit of extra money on a good lens and people were frustrated as to why with my 20D, I was getting better photos than somebody with a 5D. Cause I think they, it was just the 5D back then. They didn't have the 5D Mark II yet when I got started. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah. So just like David is saying in the chat, good glass will last you a lifetime. Yes, it will. If I was still shooting Canon, um, which I haven't been for about three years, but if I was still shooting Canon, I would still be using the 70 to 200 lens that I bought. Like, I guess it would have been probably four or five years ago now, like when Canon, uh, launched their, 70 to 200 L series lens, but the version two, the USM two, I bought that like right when they announced it. And so that's when I updated or upgraded my 70 to 200 when I was shooting Canon. Um, that's still the current model. I think, I don't think they, they don't have a version three. I'd still be shooting with that lens and it would still be performing amazing unless I damaged it somehow. Um, lenses last a long time and I have lenses uh, on Sony that I've been shooting with for a number of years now. I've upgraded the body a couple of times, uh, here and there because a lot's changed over the last few years with Sony, but, uh, the glass, the glass lasts a lifetime. Just like David said, appreciate that comment there, David. Um, let's see. So we also have Ricardo, uh, saying he has the ADD He's a beginner and he's learned a lot using it and watching, uh, watching the, the videos here on, on the Ditch Auto channel. I appreciate that uh, so much. Um, that's why I put these videos out. It's all about learning and getting better. And to be honest, like even though some of the videos I put out are like things that I've been doing for a long time, like when I have to actually think about, okay, now how do I teach somebody this? It's helping me get better. And so I'm getting just as much out of these videos when I make them as, um, as you know, anybody who's watching them. So, uh, appreciate that really do. Um, so these live chats, like we've got a couple of things coming. I wanted to, the main reason to come in here was actually to talk about, um, about what's happening with ditch auto. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about that. Um, but being that like we're at the end of February and we're jumping into March, like I wanted to kind of give everybody a little bit of an update, but feel free to ask if you have questions and you're in the chat, um, feel free to, uh, uh, to ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them here and try to stay on topic, but answer questions as well. Um, so one of the main things that's going to be happening real soon is we're going to be doing challenges again. And challenges started last year. I started 2017 out and I was like, we're going to do a weekly challenge. And that got really crazy. And it, it, it was fun, but it didn't end up being exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, because we were doing these challenges, 
uh, and uh, weekly and having to move topic to topic to topic and not really spend a whole lot of time on a specific topic. Um, pardon me. So one of the things that we're going to do this year is challenges, and we're starting those in a couple of days, uh, but we're going to do a monthly challenge. And what we're going to do with that monthly challenge is spend a lot more time on that specific topic so that we're not just jumping from topic to topic every week. We're spending a month on a topic and we're able to really learn about that topic. So whatever that is, whether it's um, a uh, particular way of using our camera or it's a post-processing thing with editing or whatever that topic ends up being, uh, we're going to spend a lot more time and I'm going to do live streams too, where we actually work on this together and grow together. Um, I have, you know, the live stream set up in this room, which we're watching right now, but I also have this uh, wireless setup that I got so that we can go out and actually shoot some stuff um, and I can take everybody along with me and we can do this live. And so when I go out and shoot, I could be talking and, you know, try to interact with the chat. It might be a little hard for me to do that while I'm shooting, but, but we'll actually be able to go out and do that live and, um, and it'll be a much more interactive way to, I think, grow together as photographers. So, um, that's going to be something that I'm, it's really going to be experimental here in March because I'm going to be trying a bunch of, of different things and we're going to see what works best. Um, but like I said before, some of it will take place in, on this YouTube channel and some of it will take place in the Facebook group. So you'll want to make sure to, um, click on that link that's at the beginning of the chat. If you're on Facebook and join the Facebook group, I know not everybody's on Facebook. Um, and there's a lot more of you here on YouTube than there are in the Facebook group. Uh, the only thing that I think that I like about the Facebook group is that, it's a little bit more interactive. Like here on YouTube, I can chat with all of you and that's great to kind of have the conversation and whatnot. Um, but when we're not live streaming uh, in Facebook, we can continue the conversation. We can upload photos. We can share our photos. We can ask questions. We can um, give each other feedback. We can critique each other's work and all that stuff. And that's something that we can do on, we can't do here on YouTube unless I'm live and we're doing it live. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I, I, um, I like the Facebook group as well. So we'll be doing stuff here and we'll be doing a lot more live stuff here. Um, so let me kind of show you a little bit about what, what this setup has, uh, so that I can, um, give you kind of a, a peek at what we'll be doing in the future. So, uh, I also have like a top camera, which this is the top camera that I typically would use when we're doing, uh, like I'm doing some sort of tutorial or whatnot. Um, I can also bring myself in here, which is kind of weird because I have like my arms and then I have me, me right here, whatever. Anyways, uh, so that's kind of interesting, but then I also can show you my desktop and we can do some, uh, photo editing together, um, you know, or whatnot here on the desktop. And then, you know, just because it's, because I can, I can bring myself back as well and put myself down in the corner. Um, so this whole live streaming setup is a lot of fun and I that's going to bring a whole new way for me to interact with all of you and for us to grow together in photography and whatnot. I've got another comment here from uh, Jen, I believe it says, I love, I love to watch your videos. Uh, good review of a lens. I really, really helped me on making a purchase. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, you know, sometimes I get burned out on doing or not burned out, but I, it burned out's not the right word. When I'm, when I do like a review of a product, um, I, I sometimes feel like there's, I'm not adding much value or whatever, uh, because I'm reviewing it. Hundreds of other people are reviewing it as well. Um, but I do like doing the reviews because when I buy something like I, I'm not some big YouTuber or whatever that gets sent stuff for free. I'm not a famous photographer that gets free stuff. Like I have to buy my stuff. And so if I'm going to buy something like it has to, it has to have value. And I would assume that probably all of you think the same thing. Like you're not just going to go out and spend money on photography equipment just for the sake of doing it. Like there needs to be some sort of value. Like we've all probably bought something before and then been like, oh man, that, 
that didn't provide the value that I thought it would. And, and you either return it or, um, or, or whatever you just don't, you know, or be upset that you spent the money on it. But anyways, um, so I try to do reviews on things that like truly are useful to me, uh, and put out videos because, um, I know that like purchasing photography equipment is, is expensive. Like this is not a cheap thing that we enjoy. <laughs> it's expensive. And so when it comes to making purchases, um, having a little bit of input from someone, um, you know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, especially when it comes to Sony, David just said, yeah, you know, um, there's a lot of, uh, of, of stuff out there. Canon, Nikon, Sony, you know, there's all these different brands. They all have great stuff. They all have pros and cons. Um, and for a lot of people that are still like considering Sony, um, they have a lot of questions too, because for me, I was a Canon shooter for, you know, over 10 years and switched to Sony and I still love Canon. I still have a huge love for Canon and their products. I just, I switched to Sony and you know, you can't, I can't afford to be on both. I can't on both platforms. It's too expensive. Um, and I don't really have a need to have like two of everything. So Sony is where I'm at right now. And Sony's worked out really well for me just with doing a lot of video stuff as well. Um, my camera that I'm looking into right now is an a6500. The camera that's above me for the, um, the top view is an a6500. I have my, uh, a7R3 right here. Um, so all of my stuff is Sony and not that I couldn't do this stuff with Canon. I most definitely could. Um, it just, uh, Sony is just where it's at for me right now. Um, and maybe Canon will, uh, will change my mind with, you know, some new stuff, if they have some new stuff that comes out, that's really cool. But right now, like Sony and Canon and Nikon, like they're all great. They're all doing good stuff. But, um, you know, Sony just has those little tidbits that are a little bit better in some areas. And those things are things that I appreciate. Like, you know, this camera has, uh, uh, in this port down here, it has USB type C right here. I could plug a hard drive right into this camera and copy files off of it, uh, right onto a hard drive, back stuff up right out of the camera. I can charge my camera using USB type C, which is what's on the bottom of my phone. Um, and then you've got the Canon 5d Mark IV, which has USB type B on it, which is that really awkward looking wide USB port that I have no idea why they would choose to go that route. Um, that's a super old, uh, port and it, it's huge and it doesn't stay plugged in that well. Anyways, I'm not going to complain. I could definitely complain about the pros and cons, uh, or the cons of all the different cameras, but, uh, that's not what this is about. So anyways, um, this live stream isn't going to be much longer. Uh, so if you have any questions you want to ask them, I'd be more than happy to ask them. I want to start doing more live streams, which is why I have this whole, uh, this whole room set up this way. Um, uh, especially with doing some editing and some Lightroom processing. Uh, one thing that I'm also going to, oh, pardon me, I'm going to dip into this year um, or soon on this channel is video related stuff as well. Because a lot of us, um, I know for me, I've been doing a lot of video for, for many years, but a lot of people out there that I talk to are wanting to take advantage of the video capabilities of their cameras. Um, we're all shooting with... Uh, cameras that can shoot really nice video, uh, but video is a whole different animal and, and people have questions about that. You know, how do you, uh, how do you shoot good video? Like what's the process? What are the settings? How do you edit it? Like what's all that, that whole process. And so, um, I'm really kind of considering with the ditch auto channel here, kind of not only just talking about photography, but talking about video and video production, because it's becoming such a huge part of what all of us do. Um, even though some of us might be like predominantly photographers, uh, I think the majority of us want to play around in video a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's definitely something that I want to do more of and talk about more of here on the ditch auto channel. Um, so it doesn't look like there's really anything, uh, new going on in the chat. So I'm going to end the, uh, the live stream today, but I wanted to kind of give everybody a little 
kind of look at what's going on, talk a little bit about what's to come here in the future, give everybody the invitation to head on over to the Facebook group because the Facebook group definitely will have a lot of live streams in the future as well. Um, and just to thank all of you uh, once again for being in uh, being in this YouTube um, this YouTube channel here for subscribing for watching the videos for the comments for the feedback all that stuff I just really appreciate all of you and um, I uh, I just want to bring new cool stuff to you guys this year so look forward to that um, if you have not I mean there's some of you that have gotten kind of notified here. Um, on the uh, on YouTube because of you know the YouTube uh, notification popping up, but I want to um, make sure that all of you know how to get notified. If a uh, let me just try not to um, type and talk at the same time. Let me switch over to the appropriate screen. Um, so the subscribe button right here, I'm sure many of you have already clicked on that, but if you click on the little bell here, you're going to get notified whenever we go live, whenever we put out a new video. And that's going to be hugely important, especially if you want to take part in the live chat, like the live chat, uh, as we do these streams, these live streams will only last like as long as the live, as long as we're live. So you'll want to uh, be notified and you'll want to click on that bell there to be notified when we go live so that way you can take part in the chat um anyway so that's gonna do it for the live stream today i just really appreciate all of you uh for jumping in and watching and for some of you to ask asking the questions um as you may may watch this live stream later on you can definitely ask questions um in here and i'll jump back in i get notified whenever these comments and questions come in um so hey i just appreciate all of you for stopping in and checking this out today. We're gonna to try and figure out a schedule for all, for all of this so everybody knows what to expect. These are all things that I'm gonna be working on in the coming weeks. Um, so definitely ask any questions you have, jump into the Facebook group, uh, ping me um, on social media or whatnot, uh, at Jared Hill, pretty much everywhere if you have any questions. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you all back here soon.